Hello and welcome to the news. Today we have news. What's up? I like gardens. Lot. Hello, and it's the weather. across central Florida, so places like Orlando, Daytona Beach, the Cape Canaveral area, Vero Beach will be getting in on the heavier rainfall, and eventually that should con <gasps> oh. I am so sorry, Bill. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> and a woman putting a cat in a bin. Mary Bell's name wasn't known by the public a week ago, but now her house is under police guard. It's because the 45-year-old was filmed on CCTV, dropping a tabby cat in a wheelie bin in Coventry. Actions that sparked outrage from animal lovers and even death threats. Nearly 30,000 fans on Facebook joined a group to trace her after Lola ended up trapped inside the container for 15 hours. Mary Bell says she doesn't see what everyone is getting so excited about as it's just a cat. She says she doesn't know what came over her, but she thought it would be funny. My name is Josh Horton, and I don't like cats in bins. I like cats that go around the house. I like nice cats. Nice cats. I like cats. Everybody! Everybody, stop being big bird! Come see what Elmo did! Well, what have you done, Elmo? Well, well, Elmo wrote his own... Former U.S. President George W. Bush still has a sickening feeling about the failure to find weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, U.S. media report. The revelation comes in his memoir, Decision Points, set to be published next week. He also reveals that he temporarily considered replacing Vice President Dick Cheney, calling him the Darth Vader of the administration. But he has no comment on his successor in the White House, Barack Obama. The 64-year-old former president defends his decision to invade Iraq in his autobiography, which was obtained in advance by the New York Times. A series of bombings and mortar attacks targeting Christian areas have killed at least five people in the Iraqi capital, Baghdad, security sources say. Six districts with strong Christian majorities were hit, and at least 24 people have been injured. The attacks come days after more than 40 people died when Islamist militants seized a Catholic cathedral. The violence comes as top-level talks on resolving the country's political crisis ended without agreement. Iraq's political leaders have been negotiating on forming a new government since the inconclusive elections in March. 